Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I am checking to make sure you can hear me because um, we did move some stuff. Okay, you can hear me. Um, I changed up some things and so want to make sure um, it's not just a talking head that you can hear, uh, but I hope everybody's having a great day today. My nose is itching. Um, it is a Monday. Uh, Monday. Okay. Uh, and we're back in the swing of things. We are. Hello, Veronica. Good to see you. Hope everybody's having a good day. We're back in the swing. It's summer. Um, and in summer, I use love a lot. And so that's why we're going to talk about love. Hello, Roberto. How are you? Um, we're going to talk about love and, and I'm going to show you different ways to use it. Um, because we know that love is in a starter kit in, in the starter kits with the two balls of foundation, love and blush. Um, and then, you know, it might not be something you use every single day and some, sometimes maybe even we forget about it. And so, um, we're going to use it today. So in fact, let me make sure I have mine here. I'm like, where'd my, where'd I put my love? where to I put my love? No, I had a big old bottle of it. Now I can't find it. That's gonna be that's gonna be hard to talk about if I don't have it. Um what is it? Yes, okay. I was like, I feel just about it. Uh so hey Lori, good to see you. Cindy, did I say hi? Hello, Cindy. Um, I am shaking up all the bottles. Make sure you shake up all of the bottles every single time you use the product, even if it's a product you use every single day you'll still want to shake up those bottles to make sure that pigment is nice and mixed in there. Um, so shake it, shake it, shake it. And let's see, let's use some glow as well. Shaking this bad boy up. It's almost empty because I do use glow a lot. Um, and then what else? And I'll use the blush and all that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, when we talk, when we do these, uh, obviously I'll start with no makeup on and then we go into the makeup. So I show you, um, how to apply it. If you're, so if you're new, you'll see me apply it. Um, the big things that, hello, Shirley, how are you? The big things about, um, when you're starting to airbrush, if you are new, one thing that always comes up quite a bit is, um, people put this on like traditional makeup. We know that this is different, right? We know that's different, but how it goes on, how it's applied is also different. Um, you don't want to see makeup going on. It's almost like magic, magic, um, where you're doing it. You're like, is this even coming on? I'm so confused. And then all of a sudden you look flawless. That's how airbrush makeup works. So if you see it, which is what we're used to with traditional makeup. If you see that opaqueness, then you're spraying too hard because you do want to make sure you keep your stylus or your breeze four finger width away from your face. And so you want to make sure to keep it that way. You move it around. You're not going to be sitting there just cover, 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 cover. You're going to move it around. It's not a race. Take your time. Barely pull down on this trigger. If you pull down all the way, way too much. That's when we are cleaning it or blowing the product out. Um, but make sure that you just keep that stylus moving. Barely pull back and keep it that four finger widths away. You can practice with the air on that distance because wherever you feel the air is where the makeup is going to go. That is your air brush. Right? So make sure you try that out. All right. So now I'm going to start with glow and I'm going to put about three drops into my breeze. And now I have it on and now I'm going to look up, start that movement. When you're also practicing, you can practice with water um, and, and just airbrush water on your face. Water does weigh heavier than the makeup, and so your face is going to be wet, but that also lets you know how, how you're doing without wasting any of the product. And so you, when you're testing with the air and with the water, 
you'll be able to tell there is a different sound when you're pulling barely on the trigger or when you're pulling down all the way. You can kind of hear the difference between that. You can also hear when you're out of makeup or when your system is not charged. Uh oh, we're, we're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. I'm going to charge this right now because I did not charge it. So when talking about Luminous and your Breeze, it is our cordless chargeable system. Charge it once a week, meaning pick a day and that is your day to charge. Okay. Don't forget about it like I do uh, here and you run out of battery, you run out of juice. And so make sure you do pick that one day and you charge it. Um, you do not need to charge it every single day. We want that battery to go down and then charge it full. Uh, when you first get it, you do want to charge it um, overnight, like charge it for one, you know, charge it one night and then go to the once a week. Okay. I'm going to work on my eyes now. Um, we can do eyes first. Um, a lot of times that's what people like to do just because airbrush makeup does not move. Like once it's on, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Um, and so if you get any fallout and you do your eyes first, you can clean that up and you don't have to worry about it. And then you can airbrush. Um, but I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with a nude, very light brown. And I'm just using a blending brush. You can actually see how light brown that is. And I'm using, of course, a nude and naughty. My weekend, Lori, was good. I um, actually had a wedding. It was a pretty big wedding. Um, that one, me and one of my artists did. It was a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And they were the cutest little flower girls. Oh my gosh. They were so, I love doing flower girls hair. Um, Cause they're like the little curls. And then they had the, um, um, like a little flower headband. It was so cute. All right. I'm just blending this back and forth very lightly. It, you know, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, so you do get to see it. There we go. There we go. And then if I wanted to, like, step it up a little bit, I could go in with a darker brown just right here. And I'm not moving, moving it at all. But it's just a little bit. Back and forth, almost making like a little V shape. Back and forth. Like so, like so. And then I'm gonna go in and with an angle brush, a line underneath my eyes. I have to make that face. We make this face when doing mascara. I don't know if it's a concentrating face where you're like, I'm just going to go in and do that. And they're different. Things. Like, I don't know. I kind of like just this new neutral eye. But if we wanted to go in and do a little bit of blah, 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 boom, I can do a little bit of shimmer right underneath that brow bone or on the brow bone, actually, underneath the brow, up there, to just jazz it up even more. So there are little bitty steps that you can do to kind of change it up, to make it a little bit different. Like maybe one day you do just one color, another day, you know, you do two, or, or um, a little bit of shimmer. Little steps can make a big difference. Baby steps can make a big difference. 
Um, so it doesn't need, you know, I love watching YouTube and all the uh, people on it do their makeup or uh, TikTok or whatever it is. You, you know, we love to watch that, but a lot of times they do so many steps that you don't need. You don't need to do 84 steps for a natural look. Airbrush makeup is going to give you that natural look. You can, I mean, that's two colors, basically two colors of eyeshadow that that's all I did. You don't need 84. So you, you know, there's, and again, you could have stopped at different, you could have stopped at probably one. Um, there are different things that we can do to, to change the look, to intensify the look or whatever we need by just making these baby steps. Right. All right. So now let's hope it's charged enough to do the rest of my makeup. I feel like there's a hair right there. It's really going to bother me. Um, so we've already done the under eye with, uh, um, with uh, glow and then I'm going to unplug it real quick. And I'm going to do a little bit of blush. This is plum blush. I'm going to shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And then two drops, guys. That's all we need. Two drops. That's it. And I am doing my blush before foundation. Why? Because I like a softer blush, right? I also did not like uh, blow out that glow. So it might mix uh, mix a little bit with that glow. All right, there we go. I feel like there's a hair on me. Now I'm going to blow the rest of that out. And now I'm going to turn it off because I'm afraid. Um, and now I'm going to do my foundation. Now I am going to do... Mm, probably about, see, look how that blush is coming up. You see it? Love it. I'm going to do about four drops. One, two, three, four. And I'm grabbing my love. I love my love. And I'm going to put about two, three drops of love in with my foundation. Now, let's talk about love. I'm going to mix that together. Love is a hydrating illuminator. It's not a shimmer, but it gives you some luminosity. That's why we can mix it in with our foundation because it's not going to, um, it's not going to give us a shine like uh, the luminizers, luminizer, luminizer, the luminizers will do or our optics palette where we would go in here and, you know, different places like that. You can, you if you're like, I don't like shine. I don't want shine. You could use love in those areas because it's just going to give your skin some luminosity. You can put it on before your foundation and then put your foundation on. I like to mix it uh, in with my foundation because it gives you that glowing kind of lit from within look. Um, that's why I love it. So taking my foundation and love. Now I'm going to, hey, Andrea. Andrea. And then I'm just going around and around. Go down my neck. But see how it just it kind of makes you makes you glow a little bit, right? I will be charging my system. But look at that. See how, I mean, can y'all see it? Can y'all see it on the screen? How it just kind of gives you that like lit from within look. And I love it. Love it. Now I'm going to take, I'm trying to not get out of focus. I'm going to take the cut one palette and I don't do as, like a severe contour um, in the summer, I kind of lighten it up or I'll do like a bronzier look. 
but I'm just going underneath my blush just a little. So the one person that I didn't see anybody, a lot of people were on vacation last week. Um, and I need to ask them again. I will. Um, the one, my go-to person on that is on vacation. <laughs> so I'm going to find somebody else. Uh, Cause I'm in my little studio. I don't see everybody um, all the time, but I will ask. I promise I'll get, our, I'll get an answer. Um, so I just did a little bit. I can contour up here a little bit, but I don't want to cover up that kind of lit from within. Look, I like the, um, the glowy love look. I need to get my hair color too. Um, so I want to distract from the grays. <laughs> um, and then now let's see what lips this. Do I want to do a bright? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a bright one. That's, oh, let me get my, let me get this. All right. So now I'm like, what lips do I want? What lips? What lips should I do? This is kind of a, I'm into mattes right now because mattes stay. Let me get another little mirror. Ooh, I like it. And if you do have a red that you love, um, you may want to change it up in the summer. Um, because every, everybody should have like a good red that they are, but like going from a deep red in the winter um, versus a brighter. And I feel like you can't talk when doing reds. I feel like you have to have that light. Oh, and, okay. Hold on. I'm going to tell you all that. There we go. Yeah. I like to have a brighter red in the summer. And then I would, even though this is matte, I probably would add, um, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, like, or you could <laughs> add um, a little bit of gloss in the middle just a little bit to really draw attention to it. Uh, and we talked about this before we talked, I mean, if you're not feeling it, like if you're not feeling good and you're like, Oh, my sinuses, you pop on some red lips and that changes or bright lips that changes your look. It is amazing what it will do. Um, but so this is, um, it is what the lip I had is, uh, um, I just grabbed it out of my makeup bag. Um, I don't have any lips with me right now. I don't know where all my lips went. Um, but Andrea, so Andrea asked, are you going to do a night routine at some point? So yes, we have, I'm sure y'all have seen it where we have, um, so much going on with our skincare line. Um, and it's pretty amazing. All the different, um, concoctions, all the different things that we do have in our skincare. So we really wanted to highlight that um, and talk about it. So um, starting next week, we are going to do a skincare day. And Dorothy is going to be doing that one. Hold on. I'm going to, I think it's on Wednesday. Yeah. It starts on the 14th. We're going to be doing that. And so, um, and they're going to, we're going to have a, um, a person, one of our beauty experts is going to be, um, I don't know, our guinea pig, our victim, um, where you'll see the steps that she's going through. And then, um, we'll have an expert that's going to be on as well. That's going to talk about our skincare 
and what it's used for, like what each bot, because there are a ton of products that we have, amazing, like retinol, and we have um, vitamin C, and we have all of that. And so um, she's going to talk you through what we're doing for Helen, and then um, and you'll start seeing those results. So it's pretty amazing. Um, but that's going to be every Wednesday, um, and that that we'll be doing that starting next week. So there you go. Um, all right, I need to do some eyes, some mascara. I'm only going to do mascara on one eye just to show you how amazing it is. Okay. That um, when I was doing makeup for this wedding, I always talk to like the bridesmaids or moms or bride. Um, and I'm like, okay, what do you, what do you normally do? Like how many shades of eyeshadow would you put on if you were going to a fancy dinner or going, you know, night out, how many shades? Cause I always like to hear how, what, well, my first question is, are you a glamour girl? Or are you more natural? Cause how you define yourself that tells me a lot too. Right. Um, but then listening to what they do and this one this one lady that i did this weekend she was like i only do three things concealer mascara and brows and i was like okay i love that those are her three things that basically if she won't go out of the house without um so it's going to be on here veronica it's gonna it's still going to be the 10 30 it's here so nothing changes just know that wednesday that you'll have the skincare So yeah, it's just, we wanted to make sure that, um, I just want, I want one, I want to tell you, but I want to make sure because we do have so many options that people know what each product is used for. You don't just get a whole bunch of them and then be like, okay, what do I do now? Now on the bottles, it tells you like, use this one twice, twice a day, morning and night, or use this PM or use the, you know, like it'll tell you that, um, but this way you'll get to to know what exactly. I love how this love looks. It looks so cool. I love it. I love love. But guys, look how much mascara makes a difference. <laughs> it makes a big difference, right? All right. So now oh, I'm going to do so. I normally don't. Do I have black? Where's my black go? Who's in my, who's coming in here? Okay, this is black. Um, we have in the persuasion eyeliners, we have black, we have gray, we have brown. Um, but guys, look how this will make, like, this look, okay, I'm good. Like, I could be all day with that. But if you go in, and lightly, and you would do this before the mascara, it makes things tons easier, especially with my curlies at the end. Do, ah, doing a light line um, right at, oh. focus, focus, hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay. It, look how that just, it thickens that lash line. And so your eyes, your eyes will look fuller. Um, and that lash line will look fuller. Um, so it makes such a difference. Such, I mean, look at that. I mean, it makes a diff big difference. Yeah, they pulled it because we're, I know we're out of stock on it because I can't even get it. With the mascara, but I'm going to ask what the dealio is. Like, I'm sure they just pulled it because we're out of stock, but they might be trying to find a new vendor. Who knows? I mean, guys, look at that. Even that makes the difference. And I haven't even added mascara. 
And now, add some mascaras. And it does make a big difference. I mean, look. Voila. <laughs> and I do a couple of couple passes to make sure um, that I get them because I'm very particular about my mascaras. But to make sure that the lashes grow, grow, and grow. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everybody has a great Monday. Um, and remember, next Wednesday, we're starting our skin care um, and our skin care day. Um, Wednesday, what can we call it? Wednesday is Wednesday, skin care Wednesdays. There you go. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Remember, we're here Monday through Thursday, 1030 a.m. Central Time. It's where you can learn about Luminous, ask questions, um, and uh, and sometimes get, get them answered. <laughs> I'll answer you, uh, Andrea, I promise. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Talk, uh, talk to you later. Bye.